The object of this tutorial is to derive a logical data model with object names in mixed case from a physical data model where all names are in camel case using CAO in Data Modeler. First I'll open the physical model and export the table and column names into a CSV file. I'll be using the bulk editor in R8 to do this but you could use the data browser in earlier versions. I'll then edit this CSV file to insert column containing the required logical versions of the physical names. This two column list will then be used to create a glossary in a naming standards model which in turn will be used when deriving the logical model. Here in Erwin Data Modeler we can see our physical model with names in camel case. We'll use the bulk editor, a new feature in R8, to generate a list of names and tables and columns. First we initiate the bulk editor wizard and select the object tabs we're interested in, columns and tables. We don't need to specify property types as names are included by default, but we do need to indicate that we want all instances of both types. Here we can see the list of names and we can see that they're in camel case. Save this file to CSV. Switching to Excel, open the CSV file we just created. I'll also open a macro-enabled spreadsheet containing a user-defined function which translates camel case into mixed case. Here you can see the function using column A. Switching back to our CSV file, we can see our physical names are contained in column B. This column does, however, contain lots of duplicates, so I'll sort the list and then remove the duplicates. I'll then copy the names and paste them into column B of the macro spreadsheet. Now you can see the effect of the macro in column A. I'll save this file again in CSV format. Switching back to Erwin, we now need to create a naming standards model. After navigating to the naming standards editor, go straight to the glossary tab and click import. Find and open the CSV file we just created. We can now see the column headed word slash words represents the names as we want them to appear in the logical model and the abbreviation column contains the names as they appear in the original physical model. We can now save this naming standards model. We then need to attach this naming standards model to the current model. All that remains to be done now is to derive our logical model. When doing that, we need to set our name mapping options 
to make use of the work we've done so far. So for column to attribute mapping, set use name mapping to true and use alternate abbreviation to abbreviation. Then do the same for table to entity mapping. Our naming standards model is already attached, so we can leave that and hit derive. And there we have our derived logical model, complete with mixed case names, which we can see better if we rerun the bulk editor wizard, this time selecting attributes and entities. Here we can see entity names. And attribute names, all in mixed or initial case. Just to recap, We use the following features of CAO Win Data Modeler R8, the bulk editor to export a list of table and column names to a CSV file, a naming standards model to define the translation of physical to logical names, design layers to derive a logical model from a physical model. We also used a user defined function in Microsoft Excel to generate the mixed case versions of the camel case names. To try any of this for yourself, please email me stevedillon at sandhill.co.uk if you would like to download an evaluation copy of CAO and Data Modeler, get a copy of the spreadsheet I used in the demo, ask any question about Irwin or Sandhill.